Okay, Link. The moment we've all been waiting for. Arriving at the much ballyhooed secret spot. This is 5127 uh, via Mindanao. Just give you a quick uh, view of the neighborhood and for uh, a frame of reference, there's Takatora's house. If you want to give him a what up dog. Um, I'm just doing a 360 view of the neighborhood here. Nice place, man. I call it the secret spot because. Uh, yeah, these homes are just tucked away back here. They fit perfectly with what we want to do. They're all built like 1989 to 1995. Um, they're all big, rent like a piece of cake. I'll show you. Uh, Camp Pendleton is just back behind the, the house here. So, um, yep, everything. The landscaping looks real nice. The uh, um, you can see the brick uh, uh, driveway. Nice little touch. Oh, that could be a pain in the neck to uh, to work with. Three car garage again. Um, Everything in pretty good shape. Uh, palm trees, absolutely beautiful. They're somewhat expensive to take care of and trim every year. But that's in the show category. I do that at all my houses up here too. Um, so you walk up through the front door. There's a nice uh, uh, column here. You can see there's all stones in the, uh, in the beds, which is nice. Um, separated from the neighbors by that wall there. Roman column in case you want to come here and have a toga party. Uh, so yeah, you walk through the front door. Immediately, you know, it's very spacious. Um, uh, more spacious, well, it is bigger, but more spacious than the stuff that we've been uh, we've been looking at so far. This is the formal uh, living into the dining, the sitting area, and whatnot. Um, the extra windows at the top help uh, make it nice and bright. Skylight, of course, like I pointed out at the last place on Summer Hill. Uh, nice touch. So, um, here's the, uh, the, I guess what would be more like the family room. And you walk back here. I'll come back into this family room in a second. Um, but there's the, uh, the, the fireplace there. Again, it's a gas fireplace. You can see the schnozzle nozzle right there to the right of the fireplace. Let's turn the gas off and on. And from here, you can go out to the barbecue area right there. You can probably hear the cars going on Douglas back there. That's not obnoxious, though. It's not as bad as I might have thought. So, um, yeah, laundry room through here. Inside, I doubt those washer dryer convey, but we can try to find out. Um, and this is a nice this a nice tile here. Um, you can see the AC unit outside there, and then. The bathroom down here, and then you start to see a pattern. Stuff that was built around 1989 all has these cabinets. Um, these are not as nice as what was in Summerhill, but they are nicer than what was in Green Oak. And uh, and again, this is that same tile countertop. Not an upgrade, um, but it's basically indestructible. Okay, I'm just gonna do a quick quick peek outside here. Hold on, I heard the door close. Okay, door just closed behind me, so no big deal. Just make sure nobody's here. Okay, I'm gonna peek out into the garage. Oh, not much to see. It's in good shape. I've seen some really horrendous garages. This is in good shape. It's not as in good shape as the Summerhill place. That place is like you, you can live in it. Um, so our two-car garage right here. Kind of a, a little uh, separation here. Um, and here's your furnace and your water heater again. And none of that looks like it's in too bad a disrepair. But then again, after after viewing for Takatora's apartment building, man, everything looks awesome. <laughs> and this is the one other side of the garage here. One nice touch that you don't see a lot, even in my house in uh, in Encinitas, is that there's the glass above the uh, above the uh, um, uh, garage door, which allows light to come in, which means you can see when you come out here. Um, and then there's a window over there. Again, the good part is that you can get a lot of light and see, and the bad part is obviously it'd be a little bit easier to break into probably, but I don't think that's a real problem. Just trying to point out, full disclosure, you know. Um, okay, so back walking around here, we're back into the uh, into the the, the uh, family room area with that uh, fireplace. You come in, you immediately see the uh, the, the tile. Uh, uh, on the floor has these patterns on it. Not a deal killer, 
But if Mash saw this shit, she would like be getting grim about it and saying how ugly it is. It does have a nice, uh, a nice cooking island. So there's the island. Um, yeah, this this house is 200 square feet bigger than Summerhill, so it's more spacious. You can feel it. Um, but the upgrades aren't there. So what you're going to get extra in rent for the size, you're going to trade off with the uh, with the lack of upgrades. Stainless steel appliances, so that looks good. As always, oven, microwave, dishwasher, convey. Never know about the refrigerator. Um, that's the kind of stuff we have to ask about. Okay, so coming out through the back door here. Um, very nice backyard. Uh, like brick walkway here. This is all kind of stuff that, uh, that that takes care of itself. Don't need too much water, which you know, people really don't want to take care of it. Somebody's taking care of this stuff rather nicely, though. And this is the wall um, um, back here. And you can see these hills behind me. So this is Camp Pendleton. So anybody that wants to work at Camp Pendleton um, is going to be, you know, within striking distance. We always get the military guys living up here. So I'll just be quiet so you can hear the cars. Not a deal killer. It's not as, as bad as I would have thought, but I'm, I'm very sensitive to that kind of noise myself. A lot of people aren't. So the, uh, the grill's a nice touch, right? See? Yep. Oh, sorry. Anyway, all, all included. You provide the tri-tip. This is a nice, uh, a, a nice feature. I know this, uh, this uh, grill. I don't know if this is a refrigerator or not. No, that's just the gas. It's propane. It's not hooked into the... Uh, into the uh, into the gas of the house, which uh, means you have to fill that propane tank. I had mine wired direct or piped directly to the house, but it's a nice touch. And then the yard, the yard looks good. Low maintenance stuff out here, and then a small uh, uh, little section out here on the on the side, probably for garbage can or whatnot. You see, they have the landscaping stuff there. So um, backyard small but nice. You don't want a huge backyard for. Uh, for some to have to take care of anyway. So, um, yeah, so just coming back around this way, back inside the kitchen, walk through this side to the formal uh, formal living and dining. Oh, here you go, dining looks out to the backyard. This uh, living, like, out to the out to the front. It's very bright and sunny in here, so people people love that. Once again, man, we're three for three on, like, uh, um, the, the carpet and the paint. This is a, I'm sure it's, you can just tell, you can always tell by the, uh, somewhat the style of the furniture and by the curtains. Nobody uses curtains like this anymore. So I would not be shocked if this uh, was original owners as well. And they've relocated just to downsize. They've kept everything in immaculate um, condition. So the carpet's in good shape. You're not going to have to replace carpet. You're not going to have to do much in, in any of these. But both of these, Summerhill and this one is in better shape than that. Uh, than Green Oak, the first one we looked at. So, uh, coming up the stairs, very nice woodworking that matches everything else. This open open stairway, um, and you come up. Like I say, paint carpet. You're not going to do storage area at the top of the stairs over here. To your left is the is uh, one bedroom. This is the master. So, um, I'll just go and look out the the windows here. And uh, this is overlooking, right, let's see if I can open these. Yeah. So this is overlooking Douglas right here. That's Camp Pendleton back behind us. This is the view from the master bedroom. And you can see that cars are going by. Again, it's not hateful. It's not ideal, but it's not hateful. Um, so it's better than I thought with the road noise. Okay. Close these things up. I found them. So continuing on to the bathroom, <clears throat> once again you have this uh, fireplace which uh, can be used in the master bed. Uh, bathtub very similar to the one we saw in Summerhill, except it's not sunken in. So uh, it's, uh, you have to step up, but the tub actually sits down. You have to step up over it. I have, uh, I have a very interesting thing like this at one of, my, uh, one of my places where the tub like this is actually in the middle of the bedroom rather than the bathroom. Kind of weird. Uh, super light and bright in the bathroom, dude. Um, you can see there's a, a window above there, window above there. That's a skylight on the ceiling. Um, and, and the cabinetry, you can see. Um, you're not going to have to do much to that. 
it's not like the stuff we saw at Green Oak. This is fine, you probably wouldn't have to touch it. But again, I'll just point out this tile, while it's indestructible and is very functional, it's not an upgrade. And sometimes when you see the granite on the countertops and stuff like that, it's what makes people go, ooh, when, uh, when they come and look at it. Nice little touch here. This is uh, the, the wife can sit there and do her uh, makeup in front of that mirror. That's, perf that's what that's for. Just set up a little stool right there. I know Mash would absolutely love that thing. And then there's the walk-in closet here in the back. Okay, so good size master. I'm just trying to turn the light off there. And I'm gonna continue on. So we had come up the stairs, made the left into the master. Here's the, the, uh, the storage space over here. And then it's real bang, bang, bang. That's uh, um, the uh, one bedroom. It's a smallish bedroom. Not much to see there. Kind of window looks out over the other house. Uh, the second bathroom. Uh, again, dual sinks. Cabinets are in good shape. Um, no, they're using shower curtain and there's tile around the shower, so not any shower disease. And then uh, two bedrooms cat catty corner to each other right here. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Um, you know, everything looks uh, in good shape. You can see that the ceilings are, you know, a bit, uh, a bit pitched there. So that's nice. Um, a personal opinion in a four bedroom, having one bedroom downstairs uh, with a bathroom downstairs is... Uh, uh, it rents for a little bit more. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but when there's one bedroom downstairs where older people uh, can, uh, you know, the grandparents or whatever it might be who don't do stairs too well can stay downstairs, that always rents a little bit better for that reason. Um, but this is the brightest and sunniest place that we've seen. So, again, this one we have to wait until July 30th um, to, see, uh, to see what happens with their, with their current escrow. But, I mean, if it's me, and in my personal opinion only, um, I'd, probably be, I'd probably be bidding on Summerhill before I bid on this anyway, which kind of gives us some room, so if you want to do that. Okay. Um, that's it, brother. Um, these videos are really long. I think it's too long for you to watch everything. I'm going to pop by two other places, but that's gonna be, they're going to be quick. Okay, later.